Hello everyone, this is Chef PB and I'm on my way to pick up my live crickets for dinner tonight. You wanna, you wanna see us pick up? <laughs> oh wow, they sent it open. All right, Christina's definitely afraid of them. Whatever you do, don't show it to her because she will cry. All right, they were cool. jumping out like that. Oh my <laughs> the future of food is in my hands. Bravo. I've been a strong advocate of eating bugs ever since the day I was born. Hello? But hey, I'm just a bearded magic dragon with the power to bring content. And I pop up sometimes on the show. Just like bam, bam, wow. But if you'd rather hear it from a more qualified flavor and health-minded, sustainably focused chef, who is also a human, then the journey starts now with Chef BV. <laughs> We're gonna eat that thing. Look, I'm a full spectrum chef. I'll cook anything you want. So, when I heard eating bugs is the next big thing, I decided to face my fear to discover what it's all about. Can I have some? Just take the scorpion. Hey, oh. hey, wait a minute. Don't do that. We're working magic into a bug show. And don't worry, I've got seasoned entomophagy experts to help guide my journey. A good way to look at insects from a nutrition perspective is to think about it the same way you do really good seafood. This is a Don PB original freaking slider. Don, how's it going? Oh my god, this is like the bug guru guy. Special treat. It's always a special treat when you're bugging out with Chef PB. The mosquitoes, the bearded magic dragon's magic kitchen. If you came over, I could feed you a few new bugs and uh, show you a thing or two. Who better to kick off our journey with than the bug guru himself? David Grayser. Okay, listen up. Dave Grayser has contributed mightily to the entomophagy movement. He's presented at the FAO conference and TEDx, constantly featured in media outlets worldwide, co-edited the Food Insects newsletter and Cooks and Sells Edible Arthropods. It's so exciting to be here finally mm -hmm. because bugs is something people don't normally do. Yep. What do you think it's gonna take to get more people eating bugs? The one word solution is education. Bugs is always thought of as bizarre, disgusting, yeah, a and pest. as a hardship food. So many people think right. of it as like, you know, starvation or bugs. bugs. Teaching is a way of making that happen. Other than that, we have to wait for the apocalypse. Apocalypse now! I'm trying to make people gain a taste for right. the insects before right. they actually get to that desperate point. It is a fascinating subject, and as you've seen for yourself, it tweaks people. That's the bottom line for me. In ways that are powerful, that people really don't think about much. I mean, I know that in your freezer you said that you have other bugs. Can yep. you show us some of the things that sure. you're keeping? I have mealworms. Here we have some more exotic stuff. They go by many names in several African countries. Uh, these dried ones are like a cross between me? beef jerky and mud. Oh, okay. And so I've been told dried dog food. Could be worse. It's kind of like a barbecue. Okay. It's like a char. Okay, it's like yes, a smoky yes. char taste. I actually think it's really good. That's good. I That's think good. that this might be a hard sell you think for so? most Americans. And there's actually a few, a couple of cicadas that I threw in there because I had no other bag for them at the moment. And these are the periodic cicadas that come out every 17 years. Yes. So there was one year I went to Princeton, New Jersey and took about eight or nine pounds off the trees. Oh, well right here we have cockroaches. Okay. And they were sold in a medicine shop. They're pretty tasty. We'll want some water after we're done. Okay. Um, it's really salty tasting. It's like a strong nut. I've had three species of cockroaches. This is the tastiest of the three. I've had these, the giant- Are those dubia? dubia? I, I don't really know. They're just the ones I get from Chinatown. Okay. Official U.S. Chinatown. I'm thinking that if you're serious about bugs as food, getting out into the field and getting your own bugs and yes. getting the kind of visceral experience that's called for. 
Dave opened my eyes to a taste spectrum out there wildly unrepresented in our Western food culture. But as much as I like preserved insects, I hear fresh is always best. Next time on Bugging Out, many groups of people will forage for insects and eat them as they get them. Right there, those are grasshopper eggs. And that's not all. There's eight more episodes of bug-related content coming to and at you. Yeah, I feel like it's a great way to get people reconnected with food. Reconnected with food. Reconnected with food. Make it yeah. So step number one, I think, is to get some adventurous people out there. We're making these things taste great. They're definitely a uh, comfort food for 80% of the world's population. The diet that they eat has a really big impact on what it tastes like. You'll see how healthy they are. I can get everyone eating insects if they all taste like this dish right here. But before you can go mainstream, you need to go above that and be exclusive. We got all things made out of them. They're really good. Yeah. Oh, I like it. We got the latest technology. It's the world's first tabletop farm to grow edible insects in your home. We got show and tell. I brought the uh, sunset moth. Can you eat it? I don't think he's edible. That's fine. We won't eat that one. Okay, okay, okay. Mm. We get the point. That's enough. Get bugs. Chef Peavy cooks them. I'm bugging out with Chef Peavy. There's all types of magic dragons out there. You've got to learn to diversify. I'm just a magic bearded dragon.